Hi, and welcome to the Mail Day with Beardy Thinker. Today we have some more packages to open. We'll start in a couple of seconds. This is something I have been looking forward to receive. This is not from AliExpress. This is from the Alterco Robotics from the Bulgaria, from Sofia. Let's open it up. And here we have two boxes. Well, three boxes. Okay. So, this is one kit and this is the second one. I'm looking forward to play with those, so I have a couple of Chinese smart plugs, but I wanted to test this Shelly smart plug. I think it would be sufficient to hook up my washing machine to this. I have to check and verify so not to burn this one. 2.5k watts maximum. They are pretty small and neat. They really look great. They have button here. I really look forward to play with them. I will definitely find a place for them and I will also record separate how-to video for the Home Assistant, how to hook it up to Home Assistant. Okay, this is one thing. And the next thing I ordered, this is something I'm really looking forward to play with. Wow, it's very small. This is two-channel Wi-Fi energy meter and I will be using it to monitor uh, electricity for my apartment. It can be programmed here. Here is a reset button, I think. There are two connectors for the uh, current transformers or uh, whatever they are called. And here you hook up power and I think you can use one to trigger the relay to cut, to trigger the fuse to cut the power off. And this is the relay. So when I ordered, I ordered 120 amps. This one hooks here and you wrap it around your main uh, power line and by induction it monitors the current electricity usage at your house. So rated primary current nominal 120 maximum 140 amps accuracy 1% okay load resistance for right core I will be also making a video on how to hook this up to your uh, main electricity line. I hope I don't burn something or kill myself. It's recommended for this product to be installed by a certified electrician, which I definitely am not. But yeah, this is my Shelly shopping, what I did for this month. I'm also waiting for additional products. I've ordered additional uh, smart plug and I also ordered the button. Let's check the web listings. This is web listing for the Shelly Plug S. There is also additional version of the Shelly Plug, but I didn't like that big clunky one, so I opted out for this smaller one. It's very easy to install. There are a couple of ways you can control it. It supports Home Assistant if you are into home assistant or home automations. Um, what I really like it, I also have some Chinese smart plugs. They all either require you to have application to control it and application requires it to be connected to the cloud or you have to flash it with the alternative firmware and then control it locally. A great thing about this or all Shelly uh, devices is there are a couple of ways you can control them. I've opted out for version where you work in offline mode, meaning that I do not use Shelly application. 
I just plug them in, connect to them via IP address, configure Wi-Fi settings, IP address, and later on, I add them to the Home Assistant. So I can control them either through the Home Assistant, but I can also connect to them via the internet browser. So far, I've tested with a couple of devices. One of them was LED lights, LED strips I use that are powered through the USB charger for the phone. It worked great, then I tried it with the microwave because microwaves have a burst of energy uh, consumption, meaning that when they are emitting microwaves, they are um, using a lot of electricity. And now I have hooked it up at a permanent location. Permanent location is my washer dryer for clothes. I'll be posting a video on Home Assistant how to, how to hook them up, how to set them up and how to connect them with the Home Assistant. The easiest way I found while also avoiding any cloud service so every data this plugin let's say transmit stays in your uh, house this is the web listing for the Shelly EM um, I've also recorded video on how to install it while I'm no electrician and I really do recommend that you use certified electrician for this if you are handy and you've previously worked with uh, high voltage or 120 to 220 volts voltage, you can do it yourself. It works also great. Installation took a couple of minutes. I ordered myself one with the 120 amps clamp. Um, they could really change something on their website because white on white doesn't show. I'm currently tracking usage for my whole apartment, meaning that it's on the main line coming into the apartment home assistant how to on installing it as i said meaning installing it in the fuse box but also installing it inside the home assistant will be released in a couple of days i didn't hook it up to the uh, relay on my fuse box meaning that i'm only reading data from the p1 or um, from one of my phases, the only phase I, I have in my apartment. Let's check the pricing for both items. So the price for the Shelly EM with the 50 amp clamp, and I think the same price goes with the Shelly EM with the 120 uh, amp clamp is 41 euros and 58 cents. With the VAT, that's almost 50 euros. And Shelly Plug S has price of 16 euros 58 cents or almost 20 euros with the uh, VAT. But as I said, I really do recommend them. They were great and, and everything was really smooth, both in installing it and configuring it. Okay, let's check the next item. And these are condensers, 10 pieces of them. Uh, they will be used for the Queen LED project. Those are one of the two types of the condensers I need for the Queen LED Diguna board. And yeah, let's check the web listing. Here is the web listing for the uh, 10 pieces for the capacitors I ordered for the Queen LED Diguna board. I bought them from Ultimate Electronics Store that has 99.1% positive feedback review. Price for 10 pieces was $1.43 with the free shipping. Because of the low cost of the item, I didn't change shipping to some expedite version because paying, I don't know, $2.74 for something that costs only one and a half dollar just doesn't seem right. This is not my first purchase from this shop and if you need those capacitors, yeah, of course, there are various alternatives on the internet, but I found this shop to have the lowest price and also was quickest to send them. Customer review is 4.9 out of 5 stars positive feedback and that's pretty much it. Next package is bottle. Let's look what the bottle is. It doesn't look like a bottle because it isn't bottle. 
what it is it is a torch lighter let's check it out yeah okay and I have gas bottle here let me fill it out and I'll be back in a second okay let's check it not exactly what I was hoping for but you do get what you pay for well now it's not it's not that strong okay let's check the web listing and I'll play with this lighter a bit more this is the web listing for the uh, lighter torch I ordered unfortunately I'm still having issues with them uh, at this point really the seller did try and approach me with a solution to this but since the cost of the item is two dollars and 68 cents I think I will just accepting whatever I can get and, and closing this deal I do not think that this is the issue of the seller this is the issue of the quality of the manufacturer of this torch I tried to fix it I couldn't I think I will just throw it away I have to be careful because there is still a lot of gas that I filled in this lighter problem that I'm having is that first of all a I could not get flame as big as this okay I didn't want the flame as big as this but I did want some kind of torch on this end so I will be able to use it to uh, heat the heat shrink tube but I think at the only flame I'm getting out is something smaller than what you get from lighting a match on the other hand there is a gas leak somewhere here meaning that when you press this button gas starts to leak from the valve here or something and you do get some small flames and I will not call that explosions but you get some ignitions from those gases here and they can burn your hand so it's just throw it away and, and buy something else customer reviews are 4.7 out of 5 stars so it looks like a lot of people are satisfied with the purchase and I bought this from my home kitchen store with 95.3% positive uh, feedback let's look at this package USB hub okay I've been waiting for this one Hmm, nice. It's very good when company is trying to at least make some kind of influence on its uh, rating. Okay, let's check this one. Uh, unfortunately, Although I have a lot of ports on my PC, I never have enough of them. And the next problem was the uh, was the that all my ports are on the uh, PC, and I need some USB ports on my desk. So this will go on my desk. This should be four ports, USB 3.0. But let's check the web listing web listing for the USB hub I ordered I ordered one from the China and I did go for the USB 3 with one meter cable I've been using it quite a lot so currently I have uh, my SD card from the camera connected to it a high-speed SD card I also have my mouse connected to it and I use it to transfer data or movies images from my mobile phone it's located on my desk it works great the speeds are okay I didn't use any kind of a specialized testing tool to test the speed but as I said it, it really works great it nicely fits on my desk it's a bit larger than I was expecting meaning that I just from the image I thought that it would be a bit bit smaller but nevertheless it fits nicely besides my monitor and my audio amplifier
The cost for the item is $4.80 with the free shipping to Croatia. It came nicely packed. It had a lot of foil on it to protect it from the scratches during the, the, the uh, shipping. Overall, I'm pretty satisfied and there is not much else to say about it. This item was bought from the Shenzhen Orange Tech Co. Limited with the 97.9 .9 positive feedback. There are more than 2000 customer reviews with the average rating of 4.8 out of 5 stars. And let's check the last item for today. And now for the next package. This one is from the PCB way. I know what this is. They always pack it nicely. This one was ordered a couple of days before the new year and it has some pine trees uh, and you probably guessed right what this is let me try and get this open some more dig uno boards if i'm not mistaking this time it should be 10 of them Two, four, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. Ten more Diguna boards. Oh, I'm looking forward to making ten of those again. So this is one of the boards. Uh, Here goes the fuse, this one is for the logic level shifter, here you have connectors for the LED strip, this one is for the power supply, here goes, if I'm not mistaking, the uh, DC to DC converter, 12 volts to 5 volts, uh, here we have jumpers for selection of the power, here are the jumpers for the selection of the um, GPIOs we are using. These here are for connecting. Um, these here are for connecting the ESP8266 or ESP32. And this one here is for the Dallas temperature sensor. Condensers and on the back sides we have surface mount components. Okay, let's check the web listing. This is the web listing from the PCB way. I ordered from them these PCB boards. The author of the board is Quindor. The project is called Queen LED Dig Uno project. As you can see, there are a lot of people that are tracking the project, liking the project or leaving the comment. Uh, I will also be leaving a link to the Quindor's Queen LED Diguna webpage, but this is the page where I ordered those PCBs. Uh, when you are making purchase, default value is 5 pieces, so 5 boards, but the cost for the 10 boards is the same, so you just can swap it and select 10 boards and you will get 10 items, 10 boards for the same price. As I said, this is the project I really I'm happy with one of those projects that went really well from the beginning to the end. I currently am using, I think, four boards in a couple of rooms. Uh, they are all now powered or they are all, they are all now using WLED uh, firmware on them. The latest available as of this date. Uh, they are hooked up to Home Assistant and also I'm using WLED app, although I don't remember when I used it last time. Because, yeah, since I have Home Assistant integration with Google Home, I can control it either via the PC, mobile app or with my voice. And this is it for today's Mail Day with Bearded Thinker. I hope that you find at least one item here useful. Links to all the web listings are down in the description. If you have any kind of a comment or a question or idea, uh, you can find me on the Discord. The link is also in the description. And you can also leave comment here in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. 
If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified on the future updates. And I will be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun.